<coughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Lowe, the owner of the cage, John Lowe Cage Fighting Series. We have Benjamin making uh, making my promotion debut. Let's introduce Benjamin Orozco, and I know your name goes by Benny Orozco. Now, where are you born and raised, and then a little bit of history about yourself. Let's introduce you to all the fight fans out there. Hey, what's up? My name is Benny. Um, I've grown up mostly in Antioch. I've uh, been in Brentwood, Pittsburgh, Oakland a little bit, just moving around, but ma mainly Antioch, and I train out of Antioch. Uh, we had an old spot in Oakley, but this new spot right by my house, like 10 minute drive, I have the nice. keys, so I train whenever <laughs> I want, yeah. So uh, what gym do you train out of right now? Uh, Team Dumb Demaya, that's my main that's spot right gym. here. Yeah. Yes, right. What are their... Uh, Fundamental martial art of the jujitsu school or striking Muay Thai. Yeah, definitely uh, jujitsu started off jujitsu. They have Muay Thai there um, Yeah, we do all of our stuff in there. I uh, I go in there get a group of guys and we just go hard every day Now uh, I'm sure you get that a lot uh, When you grow your beards out you look like Khabib on Monte <laughs> Yeah, I do. I get, I get the Khabib a lot. I actually do have a mustache if you're watching Gary I got a mustache. It's just thin so you can't tell much <laughs> yeah you know so your opponent is um coming off a two straight wins um gary thompson he's like oh, he better be not russian if he's russian i'm not fighting him I'm like ah damn i didn't even realize when he said that i'm like oh Benny is not russian you know nah full so, mexican full mexican full mexican yes sir you do get a lot of uh stakistani and russian I a lot do. right i do you let that grow a little bit more even more yeah right? i trimmed it up so i didn't scare anybody too much. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're born and raised in the um, east bay so you're native east bay person um yeah. uh, uh how old are you Benny? um i'm 26 my birthday was actually uh last tuesday oh yeah. wow happy happy late birthday yeah you know, 26 years of young age is still um so now how long, what age do you start training martial art? Um, so I started doing uh, wrestling my junior year, junior, senior year. So only two years of like actual competitive wrestling and stuff. But right after graduation, I went straight into coaching and I've coached and I've learned a lot just from coaching. Uh, yeah, coaching, you know, really understanding the technique and I'm pretty good about once I can once I watch something, I can apply it pretty well, just from being athletic. So now we're having a perfect, perfect matchup. Gary Thompson is also two years in the high school wrestling, um, didn't wrestle in college for what, I, for what I've seen, but you guys have a very similar background and the only difference is, you know, he looks a little taller and lankier. Mm -hmm. Now this fight is on a catch weight, 160 pounds on the dot, no one pound allowance. So what do you walk around weight? Uh, walk around weight, like outside of a camp, I'd probably be around 190. But I, I basically train like I'm gonna fight all the time. So um, I try to stay good on my diet. I, I'll take like two, three days after my fight, go crazy for a little bit, and then I'll get back on it. Yeah. So I like to keep myself around 180, 175, somewhere around that range. But you know, I can get to 190 easy. Right, so now on this upcoming fight, 160, how hard for you to cut to 160? Um, not too hard. Uh, I mean, obviously, if I let myself get big, I can make it harder than it has to be. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I just got to say, disciplined after training yesterday, I was 171. So that was, oh wow. yeah, I'm right there. You're it's, pretty much right there, especially day, the day before weighing, and you can go nuts after the weighing, just yeah. load up carbs and all yeah, that sir. stuff, you know. So what, what do you see yourself in the MMA circuit? Like, you know, you want to fight and compete. Do you see to make yourself, uh, make it to a career? Or what do you see yourself in the future? Yes, sir, that's the plan. Um, right now I'm working at UPS part-time. I wake up in the morning, like three o'clock, 3.30, go to work. Yeah. And then just straight training all day after that. So uh, yeah, I want to make this my career. I, I've always watched UFC and just MMA in general. and. I've always loved it. I'm super competitive. Like that's more like some people are fighters and some people are like competitive. I'm definitely more of a competitive person. Even though I like to fight, I would definitely categorize myself Who's as your a, most favorite fighter in UFC. Uh, in general, man. Yeah, I know that's tough. <clears throat> Khabib. I, I I love Khabib just because <laughs> of the dominance wise and uh, yeah, it's just you can't touch Khabib. But uh, you know, I like uh, not a popular 
choice, but Colby, just because that, that uh, his style, just in your face, he'll take you down 10 times and he'll strike 500 punches, you know? I right. love that style. I'm, that's more how I like to be, just in your face. I'm not going to get tired. And that's how I'd like to go. When you're watching UFC, who do you, who do you want to fight? You have a chance. Ah, that's the guy I want to fight. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. That's the plan. Get down to 145, really tighten up my diet. Yeah, 145. Yeah, once I tighten up and I'm on my veggies and chicken and no cheat days, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once like if you're really trying to be a career, you can't. You know, you can't be a small guy. You have to cut the weight and be on a good diet. So yeah, that would be a dream matchup. Just because I try to, I try to mirror my style to him a lot too. So well, that's a. Uh... That's a very focused discipline and um, and the game plan that you have, that you're actually planning from <clears throat> walk around 90s and <clears throat> get down to 145 as a pro. It's a very good vision. Yeah. You know, I admire your, your ambition to have, you got a locked in right there. So this is a 160 pound fight. In the future, you, I'm soon probably gonna do 155. Yeah. And then make a pro, it's 145. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've done jujitsu competitions. I think I've made 155 twice already, so I know I can make that cut decent. And the jujitsu was just waiting the same day too. Uh, those ones were actually the day before. Oh. Yeah, that's why I did it. That's why I did 155. Yeah, okay, no, okay. I definitely would not want to do that day of. Because most uh, most most amateur show in California is the same day weighing. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's why the last fight you fought at 170. Yeah, 175. That was a last minute replacement so he oh. wanted to have the weight a little bit higher so i, I didn't see. care about that i see so now how do you prepare for this upcoming guy i'm sure you're watching his five video uh how do you prepare for gary thompson um you know he's he's solid you know he's athletic he's a young guy he he throws them that's what i like about him he, he's not scared to come and engage mm -hmm. uh, my last guy seemed like he was more scared to engage with me at least uh i know gary's gonna come at me hopefully, and uh, make it a fight. And that's really what I want. I want to have a competitive fight. I want to find someone that's really going to push me and make me go make to the that. best out of Yeah, me. exactly. Make me dig deep and really work for this win. Now, amateur under three fights, there are only three two-minute rounds, and your guys both fought into this category. It's still going to be in three two-minute round category. So how do you see this fight go down? Like, I know he's a wrestler. You're a wrestler, jiu-jitsu practitioner. Do you even see this fight is gonna stand up? Uh, yeah. If, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a fight at the end of the day. So like, if he fights hard on your feet, yeah. If he's <laughs> if he's good with his distance, and I'm not I'm not gonna force a shot. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. You know, if he wants to keep good range, I'm happy throwing hands. You know, no one's seen it, but if you're at my gym, you know. So I'm excited for that. Now in the Bay Area, I know you're still new in the game. Want to know it's an amateur. Do you have anyone that caught your attention that in your radar that this is the guy I might have to fight one day? Uh, no, not amateurs. I like, I don't even know. I, I like don't even know who I'm fighting most of the time. I just tell my <laughs> coach, just get me someone and I'm going to be training. So That's whoever it. it is, it is like, I'm not going to know these amateur people. Like <laughs> I only know UFC fighters, Bellator fighters. That's all I watch. I don't watch the amateur scene or anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm preparing for that level. That's just my mentality all the time. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, so you work as a part-time job, UPS, and trains every single day, and then I know you uh, you fight out of uh, the Team Black, and then um, the, the gym you train in NBA, right? Yeah. So now, do you have anyone that you want to shout out to for this upcoming fight? Coaches, training partners, sponsors, people buy tickets from you. Do you have anyone you want to shout out to? Uh, yeah, uh, shout out everybody that supports me. I had a big group come last time from my team to my family. I had a solid, like definitely hands down the most people there from me. So that was good. Uh, appreciate everyone. Hopefully we can get that coming for this fight. Um, this is a lot bigger fight. Yeah, bigger yeah, stage, for sure. Bigger everything, you know, so um, yeah. draws a lot of attention. Also, this event's live through pay-per-view. Yeah. So if people cannot make it to the event, they can literally just order the pay-per-view and uh, watch in any devices where phones, TV, cell phone, laptops and nationwide so uh, your family can make it they can order the pay-per-view to watch me fight yeah, yeah i saw that yeah. um partner train partners everyone at the gym i roll with um darren i miss you hurt his knee that's tough um love going with him all the time 
uh, my boy Richie, he's coming in, doing striking with me, doing grappling with me. My boy Sefa, he just got an injury, but he should be back next week. And he's a killer wrestler, 6'4", 200 pounds. God so, damn. Yeah. Yeah, you can't take him down. I got to stand with him. You know, I'm not worried about my opponent because I got to worry about those people in my gym every day. So, how how long has been the the Jumas has been around? Uh, man, I should probably know that for sure. Um, I want to say 2006. Don't quote me on that, but um, I think I remember seeing getting graffiti 2006 at the original spot is when it opened. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I've only been doing jiu-jitsu for three years, so, you know, I'm like, I should be paying attention to all my gym yeah, yeah. stuff and all that. Well, that's that. part of the history of your gym. Yeah, too. exactly. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 2006, but um, shout out Andre. Um, he lives in Texas now, but that was my instructor. He's coming in today, actually. He just came in from Texas today. So, go see him, get some good training in. And, um, yeah, I wish I could have him around more, but, you know, that's he awesome. always checks up and... Now, if people want to get a hold of you to buy a ticket watching you fight, how can people contact you? Um, my Instagram, Benny Orozco36. Um, Twitter, Benny Orozco1. Yeah, basically it. I don't don't go on social media much. I don't talk to anyone. I'm training all the time, and you know my family barely sees me. So you know it's tough. It's tough to get a hold of me. Well, this is one of those things. It's a it's a spotlight for you, fighting a big undefeated larger opponent um definitely gonna be put on the show this one yeah um, i have to keep my eyes on it and all the five fans out there that looking into the up and comer sponsor and keep your eyes out and this is one of the guys so um make sure you guys stay tuned follow him on instagram uh, what's your instagram just uh benny orozco 36 benny orozco 36 make sure you guys stay tuned and follow him and check him out and get a ticket from him so uh come support your local fighters you know now if your opponent, um, Gary Thompson, watched this interview, what do you have to say to him? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope he shows up. There's no, I'm not rushing, so you don't got to pull out. <laughs> uh, yeah, he been saying that on his interview. Uh, he said he loved me. That's funny. I got a good laugh out of that. I was just laughing his whole interview. So he seems like a cool dude, you know, nothing against him. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm. there's nothing personal, nothing you know, I'm not like a, you know, super aggressive. I want to fight this dude. You know, I'm here to compete and uh, show that my skills are better than his. And that's that. We're going to, I'll shake his hand. You know, we can have a beer, whatever he wants to do. He's 20, so he can't have a beer, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, have him on some apple juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a beer in the parking lot. But yeah. No, you know, bar in the club. We keep it down low. <laughs> No, that's pretty awesome. Hey, so make sure you guys stay tuned. This is a huge stack card. <clears throat> we have over 10 amateur and 10 professional fights on this upcoming card. Five of the pro fights. It's going to be a title fight. So make sure you guys stay tuned. For more uh, layout on the fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com and get your pay-per-view voucher at DragonHouseMMA.com. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, people, and help me to grow my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the love and support. And uh, any last word you want to say to anyone else? No, keep an eye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a problem. I promise that I'm gonna be a problem. This will be the problem. And uh, now, how? This is the question there, irrelevant for this upcoming fight. How much longer, ideally, for you to keep doing amateur before you go pro? Well, like, like you said, I just started. You know, I've been training like a year, maybe in MMA, mm -hmm. and I've only had two years of like official wrestling. So I have a lot of you know, I have a lot of stuff I need to catch up on, especially for like the goals I'm trying to do. I don't want to rush anything. Um, we'll just see how I develop and how everything goes and make my decision as it comes. But um, yeah, no, no set time. Just if I feel confident in what I can do, I'll step up. But, you know, the process. Very humble man. And here we go. We have Benny Orozco officially signed today. You guys going to see him at May 28 at the heart of San Francisco. He's our pavilion. Stay tuned and don't miss it out. This is one of the up and comer prospect and uh, people need to deserve to check him out. And I'm Joan Lowe signing up. Good to have you on board, brother. Thank you. Thank you. you.